All right, my friends, good morning. It's like 11 a.m., so almost midday. And I thought about going to the forest today. It was the best decision that I could ever take because it's sunny, it's beautiful. You can hear the, the forest is living. The forest is alive, it's beautiful. So I thought about there's a, a Nordic walking group besides at the distance. I thought about pulling my runes for today. Yesterday I didn't pull runes because it didn't felt like it was needed. Like, it was a good day and a short day also. Came home pretty early, which is rare. But I'm grateful for that because last week was long, very long. So I have my self made runes here. I'm going to show you a few. But I'm going to show you as I, as I pull them. Right, and this is the first method that I used and learned is to basically put your hand in the bag, right? Choose a big bag, mix them a bit, right? Loosen them up, and then what you're gonna do is after you got into a meditative state of mind, you want to. What you're gonna do is, after you got into a meditate, meditate, after you got into a trance state of mind, a meditation state, where you are receptive for information, right? Then what you're gonna do is, you put your hand in the rune bag and. Maybe you can't hear it, but I'm running my hand through them, feeling them, and letting them also feel me, right? I'm connecting with them, and so I'm feeling and the ones or the one that I feel is more comfortable, it's all the same material. It's just the feeling, right? That's the one I pull out. In this case, or sometimes a rune attaches to you, or you feel a good feeling and attachment to that rune. You don't know what rune it is, of course. So in this case, it is this rune which is the Yira rune, the rune of the harvest, right? I'm going to, to pull it. <coughs> I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to put another rune for today. And by the way, it doesn't matter now if you pull them blank side up or, or not. If you feel it, then it is that rune, right? It's all very intuitive and you should do it in also intuitive. Don't stress yourself. Take your time for it because it's worth. You get to know your runes and also your your intuition. By the way, you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but um, it's mating season for foxes. The fox is my spirit animal, my filgia. And I don't know if you can hear it, but they are going hard. They are going hardcore, right? Mating calls everywhere. Like I didn't walk even two minutes into the forest and I was hearing them. So they are having fun. Right, if it helps you, close your eyes. Feel the runes, take your time. Alright, 
what do we have here? We have Uru sideways. I'm not gonna read it sideways, I'm going to read it as upright. So, and by the way, you can see that both roots are not the same size, not the same uh, thickness. It doesn't matter, right? There will be people that will say, oh, but you feel which rune is what rune and what size. No, it's not like that. Like, if I shuffle to, uh, through them, if I run my hand through them, I don't feel it. Like, I, I notice one is thicker than the other, but I don't know which rune is who. I could study that, but that is not the point, right? You want to pick intuitively. I'm going to put another one. Alright, took me a while. I was almost thinking that I don't get any rules anymore, but... Well, I mean, it is a nice uh, change in, in consideration last week and prior. And uh, right, let's see what I got. It's a Raido, the rune of the journey and the travel. Alright. Let's talk a bit about these runes that I got, that I pulled intuitively. Let's start with Yera. Oops, that was too far. The rune of the harvest. Patience. The crops take time. And so should I do. Right? I should be patient. The effort that I put in my work, I'm getting back. I'm getting the harvest. It's the harvest time. It's a very nice rune because I decided to walk into the forest today and work on my stability, which is the next rune, Udus, but I'm going to talk about Yera a bit first. So the fact that I decided to walk into the forest today and do my daily rune pull here is rewarded by the gods and the spirits. Not only is it beneficial for my health and for my mental health also and my growth in general to walk into the forest but I also left an offering when I walked into the woods, when I entered them. I have a little tree that is rooting deep in the earth. It's a big tree and well, I always leave offerings there. I make roots out of sticks and leave them there for as a gift and appreciation for the forest and the spirits the spirits of the forest right as appreciation as an exchange as a gift for their healing right because there was little mice a little mouse running around <laughs> like I said the forest is alive I love it 
right? I had neck pain and back pain when I entered or when I not was in the forest and now I am in the forest and I don't have any pain anymore. So the forest heals and for that healing I offered a few runes, some twigs that I found that looked nice and good. I laid them there. Others can find it too, can find these things too, but they don't touch it because they know it's an offering, right? So let's talk about Urus, right? The rune of the Auroch, the great beast, peaceful, stable, strength, stability right as i'm in the forest i'm grounding and stop stabilizing myself again i'm working back my roots and strengthening them right so i take care of my grounding today i haven't done this in a long time and i should do it more often but we're gonna start somewhere right that is Urus. Also, health. Right? I feel healthy today. Obviously, because I'm in the woods. But, also general health. And mental strength and mental health. Right. Good. They are still there, stretching. Doing their things. And I do mine. Okay, let's talk about Raido. The rune of the travel, the journey. Not all who wander are lost. How beautiful is that and how true is that? I'm a wanderer, restless, always on the search for knowledge and information. I am protected on my journey and life itself is a journey. We are wanderers on the path of life. We should take our time to travel. Don't hesitate, don't rush because you will miss out on a lot of many beautiful small things like that little mouse that just crossed the forest floor that I noticed. It's the small things in life that makes that make it more beautiful, right? So Raido is the journey, the path. Take your time on the path and enjoy it, obviously. Everything is a process. Right? So, that being said, that was it for this video. I'm going to do outside videos more often because obviously better lighting, better feeling, better vibrations, better, right? Everything is better outside, right? So it's a good sunny day. So why not take my time to stay outside? Right. All right. And with that being said, until next video.